Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, I'm actually astounded. Um, the SNP have a whole history of really bad ideas. And every time I hear their newest proposal, I think, oh God, that's the worst idea yet. And then every few days, they come up with one that is even worse. I don't know of any party in the world that can consistently break their own record in really bad ideas. But here we go. They've done it. They've done it again. They, uh, this party is a party where they're, they're sitting there and they must be coming up with a whole bunch of ideas. They go, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll shelve that. That's a good idea. We'll that's a really bad idea. Right. That's the one we're going with. That can be the only explanation for why they're in the position they're in. But they've just announced a new policy, a new tax policy that has been tried before elsewhere. This time it was tried in Norway. And within days, hundreds of billions of pounds, dollars, krona, whatever you want to call it, fled the country. Almost immediately fled the country. And it actually hasn't come back entirely yet. Because the people who thought it was a really good idea, of course, were really stupid. And failed to understand something very basic about money. And that is, you can move it. We're going to take a look at this uh, this article. It goes to show how economically naive these people truly are. And by economically naive, that's my polite way of saying morons. Here goes. Now, what he's actually going to be introducing here uh, is a wealth tax. Now, I remember it must be a couple of years ago now. They tried this in Norway and it was literally days and the money went boosh, out of Norway. Norway's tax take fell like a stone. They weren't talking about an incremental increase in income for the top earners. They were talking about taxing what they had, their actual wealth. And just like that, the money disappeared. Only a moron would look at that and go, yeah, that's a good idea. Only a moron. Humzi Yousaf proud that Scots pay higher taxes than the English, as he admits high earners could flee if further hikes happen. But guess what? The First Minister refused to rule out introducing a wealth tax on millionaires in Scotland, despite this causing Norwegian billionaires to abandon the Scandinavian country. And now a wealth tax is always a bad idea because you've taxed these people once. Um, well, actually, you probably taxed them twice. You've taxed them once on the company earnings to get to the point where they can take the money out for themselves. And then you tax them again when they've taken the money out for themselves. So it's their money taxed twice. And now you want to tax what they've got, not what they're earning. Humsey, you... <laughs> and why are you proud? Why are you proud that you overtax people and, and make them poorer relative to everyone else? But anyway... Hamza Youssef claimed that he was proud that Scots pay higher taxes than their neighbours south of the border, but admitted that more divergence in income tax could lead to the wealthy abandoning the country. Could, I don't think could is the word, will most definitely, most assuredly flee with their money. And your net tax take would drop like a stone because that idiot does not understand the Laffer curve. Uh, the First Minister uh, also refused to rule out the wealth tax to balance the books. Everyone in Scotland who earns more than £28,000 pays more in income tax than they would if they lived in England, Wales or Northern Ireland. With this gap growing wider for those with higher salaries, officials are worried that if this gap grows wider, it will lead people to upping sticks and moving away, affecting how much tax is actually being raised. And there's nothing they can do about it. Nothing. Mr Yousaf accepted the premise in an interview with the ITV Borders, but yesterday admitted he was proud of the current income tax differences. He also refused to rule out even more hikes, including the creation of extra tax bans to plough more money into the public sector. Well, here's the thing. You don't need more money. If you can waste money by giving it to foreign countries, if you can waste money by creating all these pretty brochures, if you can waste money by spending eight and a half million pounds a month on spin doctors, then you've obviously got way, way too much money as it is. 
this has been proposed by the Scottish Trade Union Congress and would see new income tax bands of 44% between the current higher rate and the top rate thresholds and between 75,000 and 125,140 of taxable income. All rates about the, above the higher rate would be pushed up by 2p. And at that moment, everyone with money comes out of the country, goes south of the border or goes where else, it doesn't matter where, they've gone. Meaning the tax take reduces and the only, then, the only people then who you can tax are the lower paid. And so you're taxing the lower paid who don't have the ability to uh, move their money too quickly and therefore making them massively impoverished to pay for your failures. It's the economics of sheer madness, of lunacy. Mr Yousaf said no final decisions had been made on tax, but confessed that there could be limits on how far his SNP executive could go in raising taxes, especially if the UK government decided to cut them. That would be the best thing to do. Um, he only has to add this 2p on. All you need then is the UK government to go, well, we've got an election coming. Ooh, let's cut rates by a penny or something like that. So the net difference could be as much as, say, five or six pence in the pound north and south of the border. Definitely enough, I think, uh, to move people to shifting their money south of the border. And then all that lovely money that he's getting, he's no longer getting. Um, he said, what I would say, he said, is that there's a number of factors we have to consider, including, frankly, what the UK government to do, uh, intends to do with, in ta with taxation. Because we do know that if there's a divergence, and I'm proud we have a divergence at the moment, given that it is a progressive taxation path that we follow, well, not when you're introducing the uh, low emission zone, it isn't. That's only taxing the poor. Uh, but if that divergence grows too wide, then we know there will be behavioural impacts as a result. Of course there will. That's what the whole point of the Laffer curve is. One question on Wednesday about taxes, he admitted that wealth taxes should not be ruled out due to extraordinary pressure on public finances. If you start talking about a wealth, fight, a wealth tax, you'll find all of a sudden that everyone with any kind of money that is movable will move it. And they'll move it, move it, move it, move it real quick. He pointed out that cuts to income tax by Rishi Sunak's government would have a knock-on effect in Scotland as the growing gap would make people head south of the border. And he added that he would have to be careful that the Scottish government's decision on income tax in its forthcoming budget does not drive behavioural change. It's already driving behavioural change. This has been seen. Um, there are people now opening um, companies in England, even though they're trading in Scotland, just simply so that they register their taxes in the English tax system, nor the British tax system, rather than in the Scottish tax system. Uh, and it's a way of saving money. Uh, a wealth tax drive, um, drive entrepreneurs and millionaires out of the country anyway, as evidenced by what happened in Norway. It is a 1% annual tax on all wealth and assets above the £1 million threshold, including property, land, pensions and other assets. With the Scottish Greens pushing for this, because of course they are, because they are economically illiterate as well. In Norway, a record number of super rich Norwegians abandon their country uh, for low tax countries such as Switzerland after the centre-left government increased wealth taxes to 1.1%. More than 30 Norwegian billionaires and multimillionaires left Norway in 2022, taking with them over 100 billion pounds, or the yeah, equivalency, 100 billion dollars, I think they measured it as, in assets. 100 billion left the country. Um, this was more than the total number of super rich people who left the country during the previous 13 years uh, and it happened in weeks it happened within weeks um, it added even more super rich individuals are expected to leave this year because of the increase in wealth tax coming November costing the government tens of millions in lost tax receipts and if uh, the idiot that is Hamza Yousaf thinks anything different will happen in Scotland then he is truly truly a bigger fool than we already know he is and you cannot get, you can't think down to that level. He has the IQ of a shoe. Anyway, I'll stop there and I'm going to come up. You've got to ask who's advising him. I mean, you know, it, 
the level of economic Ill illiteracy he's, he's showing here is, is astounding, isn't it? Um, does he not understand that you can move money? That, you know, the wealthy can just go flick, 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 and, oh, oh I'll open it, that account there in uh, Panama, pay no tax. Oh, look, uh, I've, I've shifted it to um, Maryland, uh, you know, so that, um, you know, foreign investors in Maryland uh, can hide their money. They don't even have to put the name of the directors onto the company as long as they keep the money outside of the company. And how do you do that? Well, you just open up a Hong Kong bank account. I know this because I used to do it for my boss. We had money like that and it was all held in private unnamed accounts all over the world. No tax. These people are morons. They, they think that they can do this. Now, of course, obviously all the rich people leave. They still need the money to run the country. So who's left? Well, it's the poorer people have to hit, have to be hit even harder, making them even poorer, making them tax slaves. While him and his cronies sit at the top, uh, living on the backs of the peasants, effectively. They're becoming, um, they, they're, be, they're becoming just evil parasites. But anyway, the SNP will keep getting voted in by the, the, by the very people. They're voting for their own parasites. The SNP voters keep voting for this. It's unbelievably stupid, isn't it? Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been food for thought. Goes to show that if you've got money, get it out. If you're a business owner, go register south of the border. Save yourself a little penny or two. And uh, I shall finish there. Thank you very much. Um, do hit the subscribe button. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. And remember, we're running down to the next election. And he may even be gone by the next party conference. Bye.